GY from 99, thank you for becoming a member. Sean, thank you for also becoming a patron. You guys are what keeps the dream alive. All right, let's get into it. Thank you for being a friend. Everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because it just came out with another briefing. This one is briefing number 64, SWAT AI Overhaul. This is definitely what a lot of people have been waiting for. Let's go ahead and just hop into it. Starts out with saying, uh, attention officers, thank you for joining us for our 64th edition of our bi-weekly development briefing. Today our newly overhauled SWAT AI teammates make their proper debut as an advanced and intuitive critical feature to the game. With this development on SWAT AI, we've made a major step towards continuing our vision for what Ready or Not can be a quintessential tactical shooter with a central focus on pve that's worthy of a swat experience let us walk you through an overview of the vast new capabilities this swat ai system will provide including huge improvements and additions for formation stacking breaching clearing callouts and securing please keep in mind that the development content depicted in every briefing is a work in progress and may be subject to change in the game's final state and then they go on to talk about summary points and this is not a change log and we're just going to run through this <sighs> Four different fallen formations for SWAT AI, including single file, double file, diamond, and wedge. SWAT AI can adjust their formation based on the obstacles around them, ability to micromanage, how your officers stack up, including left, right, split, and SWAT positions of specific officers. SWAT AI can automatically adjust their positioning in a stack according to the room layout or their equipment. SWAT AI have voice callouts for open doorways, suspect actions, and more. Vastly improved. Realistic clearing tactics for SWAT AI that incorporates many techniques such as dynamic and limited penetration clearing. Improves SWAT AI usage of less than lethal weapons against suspects. SWAT AI automatically secures and reports civilians and suspects or DOAs. SWAT AI automatically secures evidence and has more commands to make evidence collection much more streamlined. SWAT AI can use the door ram and grenade launcher for breaching. SWAT AI automatically swaps to their secondary weapon when out of primary weapon ammo and can fire in semi-auto to conserve ammo when appropriate. Improved grenade deployment accuracy for SWAT AI and teaser conclusion. Whew. Moving on to the next thing here, we got falling in. Your SWAT AI teammates can now fall into specific formations, allowing you to fine tune your officer's movement through a given tactical environment. These four fallen formations are described as single file, double file, diamond, and wedge. When ordering your SWAT members to hold a position, they will properly maintain the formation they were in. And then they have a picture here that states that this is the new fallen command menu. So obviously, this isn't the you know front page here. There's a back button, so this means that we would have to go into this menu to get this formation that we want. This is really starting to get in depth. I'm gonna have to get used to the system here because I don't really like to you know play with the io that much sidetrack here i was asking in my discord if they were going to make it so that we could have co-op instead of just ai and it looks like the developers are not going to do that unfortunately because they say here that it would be really tough for them to implement the campaign additions and cooperatives so they won't be present all right well that's that let's continue on here in all of these formations your swat ai will strive to maintain their respective angles and create a broad scan of their surroundings with minimal redundant overlap officers in the back of formation will pull rear security to ensure your flanks are covered they will automatically adjust their formation in order to logically accommodate the space they're in for example switching from double file to single file or fluidity navigating obstacles and then showing the uh gif that's right here where they you know start off in kind of like a arrow shape and then they go into a straight line here they're definitely improved here that's pretty cool i think this is actually the new gas station maybe yeah yeah there's the logo right there you can tell definitely revamp but it explains that this gif is swan ai automatically shifting from double file to single file formation to account for obstacles single file is useful for extremely claustrophobic spaces such as tunnels officers in the middle of the formation will watch left and right single file exposes a minimal number of officers to forward facing threats but entails less forward coverage now yeah, the fatal funnel here so it's showing the AI kind of just like walking through, which I gotta say, the animations look so much better from what I remember. So he's like looking left to right the moment that he sees like a, a place that's, you know, a doorway. See how they're looking like that? Turns around and then he sees that other place. That's pretty cool. In a double file, you are positioned at a point of two columns, with officers on your right and left watching the front and those in the back watching the rear. Double file is particularly effective for medium width hallways that have a high potential for threats in the front and rear. And they're showing a gif of them walking through the hospital map. And yeah, this is definitely a map where they could completely flank you in like several areas. So this makes sense. 
Diamond formation is beneficial for moving through a space with many openings where potential threats are surrounding you. In open spaces, it prioritizes a 360 degree breadth of coverage over concentrated firepower. In closed spaces, it operates similar to a double file but with less emphasis on rear coverage. And the gift here shows them in diamond formation, clearing out a parking lot. And it looks like everybody's kind of like looking in each direction here, which makes a lot of sense because it's a very open area. Very cool. Last but not least, wedge formation allows you to spread out over an area with a high amount of concentrated focus forward. Officers in this formation will behave similarly to double file, except more spread out. Use this formation to overwhelm a specific threat or flank enemies who are using cover. Okay, cool. Moving on to the next thing here, we got stacking up. You now have the ability to micromanage your stack in careful combinations as you approach your breaches. Choose which side of the threshold, e.g. door or hallway opening, that you want your team to stack on. Split the stack or even order individual officers to swap places with one another. We got a picture here of the new stack up command menu, and this is what it looks like let's see we got split left and right i kind of have to wonder how this is going to work do we have to like look at the specific officer to make him move over or something i wish that there was a gift for this but i guess we'll see utilize this granularity of stacking styles to prevent officers from being exposed to threats based on the layout of the space and to tailor the approach of your entry into the next space have an officer with a shield perhaps put them at the front of the stack however they can do this autonomously is an officer more justified than another consider sending your injured officer towards the rear of the stack are you in Anticipating long range threats or close range threats is less than lethal appropriate? How claustrophobic is the next space? And what's the risk of bullet over penetration? No problem. Choose officers with the appropriate weapon systems and loadouts to be near the front of the stack to immediately confront these scenarios. And then we got a GIF of ordering specific SWAT AI in a stack to switch places. And you can see how smooth this is. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. However, you don't need to concern yourself too much with these variables. Your SWAT AI will strive to intuitively stack up in an appropriate manner for a given room, albeit they do not have nearly as much tactical planning responsibility as you do as their commander. Moving on to the next thing here, we got breaching. Take advantage of the updated breaching styles for SWAT AI, including door ram, 40 mic mic launchers, and leader breaches. The addition of these options for SWAT AI makes them more on par with the versatility of human players. The image below show the new breach of command menu and along with the battery ram and leader breach options that are now added so let's see here we got two of them this shows the old kick option the shotgun the c2 and the ram and the leader what the hell's the leader that's kind of what i want to know like what is this so he wants to put that in the comments i think i, I think i might have missed that somewhere then we go on to the next menu which we got the clear which is just simple push in flashbang stinger cs gas launcher and leader does it mean just like straight walk in with your guy or or what is a leader? Might have missed that somewhere. But anyways, among other breaching improvements, they are now capable of busting down a door with a swift swing of a ram or narrowly peeking to pop a 40 mic mic launcher, less than lethal munition round into a room. With the tactical intuition prompted by the leader breach command, they can comprehend and follow up your own equipment usage, e.g. throw a grenade, battering ram, C2, or your movement into the threshold to breach seamlessly with you. And the gift below shows SWAT AI following a clear with leader command for the player to plays a flashbang before they enter okay so that's cool they actually don't just straight up enter they enter when you enter that really does give a lot more immersion that's cool that's cool. I like that. In general, SWAT AI breaching consistency has been improved overall, with more accurate grenade throws being another inclusion. Moving on to the next thing here, we got callouts and clearing. Despite such nuanced control you have over almost every tactical facet of your SWAT AI officers, you should also know that they are tactical professionals, effectively fully functional on all autonomous level as well. They don't require constant command or hand holding. They will make callouts, move, prioritize context in a room, and in accordance with your orders. Lean around corners, stay alert to openings, make arrests, check hiding places, and more based on their own astute tactical awareness. And the games below show SWAT AI smoothly leaning around a wide variety of obstacles to better clear the niches in an area we have two here where the ai kind of just looks like it's like he's like looking around this corner right here to see if there's anything there and then there's another one that's doing the same thing so that's pretty cool and we have the same thing with this gift here they're kind of like looking through like little things right here to make sure that everything's good to go and he sees he's, as soon as he's done looking that way he like flips around and looks that way that's pretty cool this almost feel like players be honest well i guess we'll see when it looks like when we actually get into the game this next gift shows swap performing a special animation to check a potential hiding spot under a table now, this is cool i like how it comes up and he just like looks under to see 
I like this a lot. This is really cool. I would have liked if he actually like scanned it though, like instead of just looking like right there and then he and then he like flips the gun to look left to make sure there's nothing there. You know, just that extra security. But you know, that's cool. That's really cool. Still, they display steadfast obedience to orders and they will stop to change what they are doing when requested. Before and during a clearing, SWAT AI will verbally make a note of doors, thresholds. They see if they are open, how many, and in what direction. Furthermore, upon spotting an unarmed suspect, they will ensure you are aware with the gun and knife voice lines for scenarios teetering on the edge. Your officers will flow into the room with precision confidence during dynamic entries corresponding to their initial stack setup. Alternating entries directions, checking corners, filling the space, calling for compliance, and prioritizing threats. Officers can also be ordered to use limited penetration, aka slice based, CQB clearing techniques, such as pying a threshold. When an officer is ordered to pie a threshold, they will gradually lean and move until they can view a substantial slice of what's past the threshold. In certain scenarios, these techniques can minimize immediate harm to your officers and provide a reactive perception of what's beyond the threshold. These two styles of clearing, dynamic and limited penetration, can easily be combined together when clearing. And the get below shows the AI pieing a threshold before performing a dynamic entry. And yeah, this is something that I do a lot, but I didn't know that this was actually a strat that people do. Or not a strat, but uh, you know, a tactic that people do. But I guess it is, because a lot of people in the last video told me that, oh, this is actually something that people do. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, I'm being tactical. Yeah. While firefights are ringing out, your officer is not down when they run out of ammo on their primary. They will immediately transition to their appropriate secondary weapon and continue to engage any threats as necessary. Then switch back to their primary when the immediate threat is dealt with to prevent ammo from running out in the first place. Your officers can now switch fire modes to semi-automatic and select fire weapons. And then we got a gift here of the SWAT officers automatically swapping between their primary and secondary weapons to engage a threat when out of primary weapon ammo. And yeah, this is something that I do a lot in Ready or Not, uh, to be honest. I hardly ever use automatics. I'm always on semi-auto. And it has happened before where I ran out of, you know, ammo and I had to switch to the pistol. I still remember that Call of Duty saying it's like, Remember, switching to your pistol is faster than reloading. I took that thing to heart, man. But uh, moving on, I'm next we got securing the scene. The increased autonomy of your SWAT AI is perhaps the most convenient for how they will be able to skillfully secure a scene without needing your direct input. This assistant makes your job a lot less tedious so you can focus on dealing with other tactical situations. And we got a GIF of the SWAT officers automatically securing a weapon and reporting a dead individual. Let's take a look-see. So he's walking around a corner, and this guy right here, he picks up a gun right here, and I think this one just reported it, right? Oh, he drops a uh, he drops a glow stick right there to show that there's a dead guy here, I guess? I mean, I guess that would make sense, right? Like, you don't know if somebody's reported until you actually get up to him, so I think dropping a green light right here would make a lot of sense. At least that's what I assume he's doing. When you when you report someone, you just drop a glow light, say that he's already reported. I like that. SWAT AI's enhanced ability to autonomously secure suspects also makes their usage of less lethal equipment more viable than before wherein now you can promptly pursue securing their target in a safe manner following suspect compliance and then we got another gif of swat ai officers automatically securing civilians and let's take a look see we got this one ramping up that lady right there the only thing that i dislike about this is that he's kind of i mean i don't know if that area is clear right because he's like looking up to, as if they haven't cleared it. So I probably would have, you know, had him wrapped up like after we cleared the area. But maybe that's just me. One thing I do want to know though is like, can you cancel? If you see someone like coming around the corner, can you cancel hog tying a hostage here? Or is that still like an issue where you can't do that? I don't know if they've ever talked about that. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, in conclusion, with our overhauled SWAT AI teammates playing solo, has never been a more seamless teamwork oriented experience. We're thrilled with how the SWAT AI functions right now and you can expect to see even more improvements such as SWAT AI animation upgrades post 1.0. Prepare for entry because we're currently on track to release 1.0 before the end of the year. Before we sign off here's a bit more intel and they have a gif here of an in-game replay view of the revamped supporter edition exclusive FISA HRT officer outfit and its exclusive tan GP NVGs. Ooh, let's take a look. Gotta say it's looking pretty damn good. Is this like a feature of the replay system here? Where you could make it like a noir color? 
That would be pretty cool. But yeah, this concludes our 64th development briefing. Be sure to tune in next time for more development news. All right, very cool. Very, very cool. This is something that a lot of people have been asking for, you know. I think a lot of the issue really is just coming in from the SWAT really being dumb, at least in the single player mode. There's a lot of other issues that they hopefully will fix by 1.0, but we'll see. Hopefully they're not crunching it, but I guess we'll see. What are you guys' thoughts? Let me know what you think down below, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters, starting with Fear Operative, Brigadier24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever, Iggy, Sean, Ty from 99. If you would like to become a part of this list, be sure to hop into the membership or join the Patreon. Your support matters to me. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.